wig and buckle. It's LVC's oldest known theater company, but it's also LVC's only theater company. It's a collection of driven students who attempt to seek the absolute greatness in comedy and drama, and it's a great creative outlet for any students who are looking to get involved in the theater. I decided to go on the case and figure out what it is that makes Wig and Buckle so special. Continuity errors aside, I knew that it certainly must be the actors or the venue that made this place such a great place to perform. But who am I? I've dabbled in acting. I've also dabbled in handing men bags that I shouldn't, and I've also dabbled in the ha-cha-cha -cha of the dancing style. I am a thoughtful mind who seeks the greater questions of humanity. I want to know what it is that drives humans to be the way they are, and my mind is truly an enigma. Was the secret in this cabinet? Was it in that closet? Was it in this safe? No, seriously, seriously, what's in this safe? Nobody knows. Nobody in the company knows. I needed to figure out what made the company so special, and I knew only one man could explain what made this company so fantastic. Dr. Kevin Pry. I'm Kevin Pry. Well, I'm called the Executive Director, and I've actually been in this advisory capacity since 1994, so it's coming on 20-some years now. It'll be 25 in a couple more years. I think that that there has been a change over time in the way that young people come into the company and the whole sort of nature of the young actor. On the one hand, uh, many years ago, 20-some years ago, a lot of the young people who came to the company had done some high school theater or some community theater beforehand, and they often had this sort of, to, to paraphrase something from the old MGM musicals, they had this, hey, let's do a show ethos about, you know, let's get together some bits of costume and some stuff and let's be like Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland and put on a musical in the barn. Upon research I found there was a Judy Garland and she did in fact perform events in a barn. But what about these students? Now it's um, the people who do it are, are in many ways the ones who are most prepared and most committed come with uh, a real desire, a real hungry desire, what I call a sponginess. Indeed, perhaps Dr. Pry was on to something. Perhaps it was these students who run the company and who also perform as actors that make this company what it is. It may be the extreme human spirit of the modern youth actor that is what keeps this company going so strong. I decided to speak to one to find out. My name is Claire Leedy. Claire Leedy, actor at Lebanon Valley College. Claire, how do you be a good actor? How to be a good actor? Yeah. Improv wasn't her specialty, but that was okay. I felt she still could answer some questions about what an actor needed to be. Don't be afraid to go for it. Be flexible. Um, be available at uh, t other times to meet with other actors. In Wig and Buckle, it's enforced by uh, the creation of a culture by the students and by me that demands um, commitment and excellence and expects uh, collaboration and it expects um, people to cooperate and get along with one another uh, and also work in a sort of consensus model where a lot of our work is done in sort of coordinated teamwork. I couldn't have said it better myself, Dr. Pry. Perhaps the key to Wig and Buckle surviving and thriving all these years is not the venue or the director or the students, but rather the culture put in here place over years of work. I think if I had something I wanted the outside world to understand about this theater company and its tradition because it's been around since the 1930s. It has people from 16 different majors. It has uh, this long tradition of trying to do the best possible work again, and not easy work either, difficult work, hard, dramatic, and comedic work. Most of all, though, I'd like people to understand that they, they do this, these students with my assistance, but these students do this with a um, relatively scarce amount of resources and, and very limited. And so the amount of imagination, the amount of thinking outside the box, when people come to the shows, they tell us we're amazing. They tell the students it's amazing. And these are people who've seen our shows six, 10, 20 times. And I often say to myself when they say that, why are you amazed? We've been doing this for years.